What's going on guys? This is Yuli of Fire here and right now I'm in central Shanghai as you can well you can't really see but if I spin around I don't know. Well I will show you later but right now I'm in central Shanghai by myself. You know I, I really enjoy um being in Shanghai here and um one of my favorite things to do in uh, Shanghai is to ride the buses because um because the Shanghai bus is, is my favorite bus in the whole world and now I'm going to show you a new type of bus that you guys in the UK have never seen which is called um, Super Capacitor City Bus so um, I will show you in a minute so I will so yeah um, see you later so right now I'm walking around trying to find Route 11 now Route 11 is probably one of the most infamous routes out of all the Shanghai buses so I'm gonna see if I can try to find it myself. So hopefully I'm not gonna disappoint you guys. So fingers crossed. So I bought myself a um, a bottle of Sprite. It costed um five yen here, which is about fifty p in um in British pound. But honestly, like in Shanghai, um five five yen or fifty p for a bottle of Sprite, I, I still think it's kind of expensive. But you know, this is century. This is the um, center of the city, so I guess everything is, is expensive. But um, let me show you something. Um, wow, well, I think it's amazing. It's the um, well, you can't really see here. It's the it's the Huangpu River in Shanghai. So um, there it is. Um, and, and as you can see there, um, there's the Pearl Tower and all the other skyscrapers of Shanghai that you probably might know. Well, if you don't, you can just, just search up in Wikipedia. Um, Wikipedia is actually blocked in Shanghai, but you know, in the UK it's not. Because in the UK we have more freedom. <laughs> okay, um, back to topic. So, this is the Huangpu River. Um, it, it runs through the center of Shanghai. So, it's kind of the, U so it's kind of the, um, the UK equivalent of um, uh, River Thames, basically. Well, that's how I like to think about it. And um, it, it, it's what kind of it's what actually separates Shanghai because if you don't know, Shang, uh, in Shanghai the city is, the city is kind of split it into West Shanghai and East Shanghai. Um, the two parts really mean anything. It's still one city, but still like people like to call um, call that side um, West Shanghai and and this is the side which is where I am and also where I live East Shanghai. So there is a brief um, explanation of this river basically um so now i'm hopefully i can find uh, i'm going to find um the um the first station of um route 11 and show you you know the super exciting buses that we have here in shanghai um well i think it's super exciting you might not but you know it's my video so i can say whatever i, well, I can say whatever the hell i want bye see you later <laughs> Let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Right, so as you can see, um, we know. Sorry, let me show you. So, so this says Super Capacitor City Bus. So this is the thing I'm talking about, and as you see in the front, um, that says 11. Um, the thing on the left that just means air conditioning. Uh, Kung Chiao. That's the um, that's Chinese Mandarin for um, air conditioning. So there we go. So let me just do a brief, um, short explanation of this. So what this bus is uses is instead of being a um, tram or a bus that runs on petrol, um, it uses something called super capacitor. Now super capacitor's function is to store electricity, kind of like a battery. The difference between a super capacitor and a um, battery is that a super capacitor can store much less um, electricity. In fact, for a bus, um, even on a full charge, a super capacitor can only last about one or two stations. However, the benefit of super capacitor is, is that um, its charge time is much quicker than battery. In fact, much, much faster. Um, um, at the first and the last station like this, it will usually do a full charge, which runs about two or three stations. But, um, but um, between, um, for example, if it's in a if it's in a station that's kind of in uh, that's kind of um, in the middle of its intended route it can charge for about half a minute uh, no yeah yeah about half a minute or even sure maybe even uh, 20 seconds even and it can last one station so that's the benefit of using a super uh, of, a su of using a super capacitor um, it can store much less energy than a battery but it charges much faster than a um, than, than a battery and obviously a bus has to stop uh, bus has to um stop for stops oh my god that that's really bad yeah so for, so obviously a bus stops the bus has to stop uh which means that um which means that th that while the passenger is going in and out of the bus that gives time for the bus to charge while he, about the passenger um goes on and off the bus so that's the short explanation, and now I'm going to go on so, it. So there I am on the Super Capacitor City bus, let's take a ride. So as you can see right there in the middle where um, it's showing numbers, that's where you put your oyster on. And by the way, if you're wondering how it, how a Shanghai oyster car looks like, um, here it is. So that's what the oyster car looks like. On the back, you can see all the transport that you can go in. So that is, I'm not sure what that is. Um, that means metro, which is tube, that is bus, that is ship, I'm not sure what kind of ship, but, oh well, I don't really use that part, that is a uh, train, and uh, finally that's a taxi. And um, the bus fare for this is, um, is uh, it's 2 yen which is about 20p but um, if you go on if you go on buses m uh, more than once in two hours then um, every bus fee after the first one um, is reduced to one so for example if you go on the bus once and then three hours later go on the bus again that'll be four pound because it's two times so two two times two yen is for yen but if, if the two time is in less than two hours then the first one is two yen and the second one is one yen so it's three yen so so that's come the um the reduct so they, they have a reduction system for the um for the bus fee basically so now i've um now i've just gone off through 11 that was a good experience a few of the elderly women and actually even the driver started talking to me wondering what language I'm speaking and we we saw like uh, chatting and everything so that was quite a fun experience so and now I'm gonna go home actually it, um, as you can see by the sky um, it's getting dark which means that it might start raining uh, so I'm gonna uh, so, I, so I'm gonna try to get home as soon as possible and that means taking route 26 which is another super capacitor bus um, so there we go, that's the end of the video, hope that you enjoyed it, hope you learned something useful, hope you learned how the super capacitor bus in Shanghai, how it works, and until next time, see you, YouTube, bye!